boarding school, boarding school, boarding school. <laughs> oh, what sensation does this word issue for you? Um, disinterest, fear, dread, excitement, curiosity, uh, nostalgia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what does it issue for? Uh, for many Ghanaians, boarding school is going to actually have maybe some sort of nostalgic feeling or maybe regret or disappointment or something. Um, uh, what does boarding school mean for several Ghanaians and how is it experienced? Hello, welcome to Jane Truly Seasons. I'm Jane. When I say boarding school, I really mean high school um, or senior secondary school. I just, it used to be called now senior high school. Most of the best high schools in Ghana, they are public schools and they are often further away from cities. So most of us have to leave the cities or wherever we are to go to the schools. Um, there are limited numbers of them and it's very competitive to get in because there are a lot of students who want to go to these institutions. So you have to write the BEC the basic um, education certificate um, basic education certificate examination and you really have to be on your top game so if you want to like get into your first choice which is usually a tier one school usually your first choice is usually a tier one school second choice a tier two and third choice a tier three um, you really have to get your A's and you get A's right you start learning like really practicing for the BEC um, when you get into the seventh grade which is JSS junior secondary school or junior high school um, and you really have to be burning the kerosene oil and I mean literally because the Ghanaian electricity network is not consistent and it goes off all the time so you have to have like a set of kerosene oil that you, you're going to be burning throughout these years and by the time you finish your BEC you're immune to mosquitoes because you've burned so many um, mosquito coils and been bitten so many times and you are going to get straight A's and make it into your first year school so congratulations I didn't do that <laughs> I didn't do that so like um, I got into second year school and I didn't get immediately I had to bribe my way into getting into school I had a B minus average I went to school like three weeks after everybody had gone and it was so embarrassing I remember my grandma would ask me to go out to get something and people would be like oh Aquile I went to know OTPA still like, why are you still home because they know that most people go away for school most of us choose boarding school because it's the first time in many of our lives where we have some sort of freedom and uh, independence. It's, it will be like the first time in our lives where we are not living under, under the same roof as our parents who are often straight. Uh, in boarding school, even though you have the school head, uh, school masters and there are teachers, it's really student governed. So it's you against your peers or you among your peers and you're regulating yourself and you're making a lot of important decisions. So we go for that self, like that independence. Um, and it's really looked on favorably in our communities um, and it's like ingrained in the Ghanaian identity. There's so much you pick up in boarding school that we look forward to it. It's like part of like, it's sort of, you can think of it as a, a rite of passage uh, for most Ghanaian teenagers to go to high school and go to boarding school. Then after that you go to university. So what's the school structure? Uh, you have senior secondary school, SS1 or SHS1, senior high school. I'm probably going to say a lot of S, senior secondary school, SSS, because that's what I'm used to saying. Uh, so SS1 is like, think of it as one is 10th grade, SS2 is 11th, and SS3 is 12th grade. Um, the first, first term, first year, so SS1, Form 1s, they were called. Uh, it's like the bottom of the food chain and they're called homo dry. Homo as in homo sapien, the English is a Latin word. And then a drying is tree word for goat. So the form one is basically the fool of the institution. Basically you're like, you get to do all the work. There's a lot of hags and uh, form threes, uh, that's the 12 graders. They are the seniors and they are top of the food chain. And then especially if you're a prefect, you have a lot of agency power over your peers. So 
uh, three years and then there are three terms a year so in high school here American high school you have two semesters so you have three semesters and they are called terms um, what else you have like some common course you have to do like common classes that is shared among everybody then you have your majors so for instance I was an art major which actually doesn't mean visual art art actually meant the humanities and social sciences if you want to do visual art you did vocational studies and home economics that's visual art and uh, like baking and cooking and stuff like that um we had like uh we had uniforms for classes uniform for special events uh uniform for religious events and then uniform just to walk to wear on campuses of course the options for day students and boarders are available but uh, like you had a richer experience if you went into the boarding school rather than day school so since i went three weeks late um, I was actually accepted as a day student and I lived in Tema, my school, Ghana National, no, 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 was in Cape Coast and there's no way I can make it there, like it's a four hours bus ride every day. So I was in the hostel during the first time, that means I missed out on some significant hazing uh, because the homo joint ceremony, which I believe is the first entertainment event of the school year for the form ones, is basically sort of, um, basically you are in integrated into the system to understand your humble like, state and to understand where you are. So that's like the like that's the ceremony. Um, and you dressed up looking all like in a ridiculous way. You wear like your nightgown to entertainment. Your face is polished or painted in like a ridiculous manner. Uh, you wear your sponge, which you use for bathing, around your neck, and you might hang your pail. A pail is used for like when you bathe, like. Uh, the we use buckets because the pipe is not always working. By the way, I don't take water and electricity for granted because I grew up in Ghana. And so pail used for bathing, and you hang it around like your neck, and basically wear mismatching shoes and socks, and you're ridiculed. Uh, it's not just you; the entire form ones, the entire ten graders, go through this like process. Um. And in a sense, it's fun. It's like hazing, but in a sense, it's fun. Uh, so that's the starting, the starting ceremony for Form 1s. We have entertainment days. It's usually on Saturdays, and that's where you unwind after all of the classes, like the week of classes. There's a lot of dancing. That's when you hear the new music that is going on and tell new dances. That's when you hang out with your friends and you find out who is dating who by finding out who is dancing with who there's a lot of gossip like it's really exciting that's actually how i got my first nickname uh I, when that term ended i went home and then there was a new dance going on uh and i landed it was called animal dance then i went to campus and an entertainment on like our first entertainment uh, day I went to practice my dance. Um, so it was like a lot of like long stretched out movements and slow unwinding movements and positioning of the body in like the form of an animal, especially the grasshopper. So you're going to be doing like stretching and jumping and then you're going to pause and stay in like a form of an animal. And then you're trying, you're going to try to mimic it with your body. Uh, and then, then you go into the nest pose and then there's like a lot of jumping um yeah and then i remember i was doing a lot of dance and people were like what's she doing what's she doing and then somebody was like oh i know that's the animal dance and then i got my first nickname animal dancer i was known as animal dancer chiratsky so for the homo join because you were first form you have no power you need somebody with power and then you have to have like a school mother if you're a girl if you go to like the mix i went to my school was like a mixed school and i'm glad i did go to a mixed school um so if you a form one you get like a, you need protection right from a form three preferably and uh you, you it's it's even better if you get a prefat so that would be like your school mother if you're in the boys dormitories your uh, school father 
um, yeah, and then they basically protect you because they have most of the power. The prefects have the most power because the school is really student governed. Yeah, Form 2 is like, I think Form 2 is the best year because you are not a Form 1 student, you're not being hazed as much, and you're not Form 3 student where you're preparing for the senior secondary school um, examination, certificate examination for university. So yeah, that's like a lot of pressure. Form 2 is the best year. I left after Form 2 and I came to finish high school here. I left because I realized that there was no way I was going to pass the SSC. Um, like I said, Ghanaian school system is root, root based and I have terrible memory and after taking some like dream based on my performance in school, I knew I wasn't going to go anywhere because it's like a ranking system. So you don't only get great, you also get a ranking of where you are in your class. <laughs> I wasn't anywhere beautiful. So I knew that I wouldn't make it to university and I have always wanted to go to university. Dining hall. The dining hall food sucked. Um, but then we had our own provisions. You get two, you get like a box, a chop box. It's a wooden box that you put your provisions in and you go to school also with a metal trunk with like this half red moons on them where you put your clothes, non-food items. So what food do you bring? You bring Gary. It's grated uh, cassava, which is also fermented and then it's in like some dry processed state. Um, and you eat it all the time. You do soakings or Gary photo. Like, so soakings is like Gary water and sugar. That's like all you need. And that's what you eat when things are dry, like middle of the term when you've run out of provisions, that's all you eat most of the time. Uh, rich soakings has milk in it and granite and that's like delicious. Um, what else? You bring shito, which is made with uh, there's some sort of dried fish. Uh, uh, prawns or shrimps, uh, there's a lot of pepper and it's like a, a spicy condiment that you, you can use to eat everything. I want to do that, I make sure to eat a lot of things because it goes with everything. Then you need those two things in your chop box, the box for your provisions. Some people bring cereal. Um, we couldn't afford cereal when I was in school. Uh, sardines, everybody have uh, some. If you if you're well to do, probably have also canned beef. Um, uh, some soft drinks like juices. Um, yeah, I think the worst dining hall food was bread bread, which was not really bread bread. It was just beans and Gary, and the beans sucked. Oh, uh, there was no plantains, yellow plantains. <laughs> Uh, but the best one that we all loved was the Fanti Kenke, which we could bring back to the dorms and we would eat over and over for a while. Uh, what else am I missing on? Calling home. Oh, we didn't have cell phones back in those days and there's the, like just one phone booth in the school for the girls area. Or was it in the entire school? And there's, a, there's always a long line. I think you could call home only every other weekend, every other Saturday when it's not a visiting day or when it was a visiting day too. And there is a long line and you it's a pay phone so you drop in your coins and you can't talk too much because the whole line will be like, what do you think you are doing? We also want to call, hey, hurry up, it's like things like that. <laughs> um, what else? Visiting hours. You get visiting every other Saturday and it's especially significant when you've run out of food and your family comes and they bring you home cho. Home cho is home cooking and then your favorite food. Oh, it's like the best thing ever. You can't just leave school to go home. You need permission from the principal. You have to write a letter. You have to explain yourself. Like the going through that whole thing is like wild and people will run away from school and if you get caught there's like a lot of corporal punishment so you don't want to do that too um what am i missing letters when you get letters from friends it's like so annoying it's people who write to you and you write to people hoping they'll write back because that's one of the best ways to get news and entertainment and people really look at you favorably if you get letters when um letters come in Ah, uh, what else? My home was like a sight and when you're in school you had to wake up like 5am to make sure you get to the shower. So it was like a, sh a shared space for 
Uh, back in the days, in my days, we had like a shed shower and then the run, the pipe was not always running. So you have to make sure you wake up in time, like 5 a.m. to get your water. You use your bucket to fetch water. And if your phone wants to then, this could be, it could be more difficult because sometimes the water is not running. And then the form threes will come and it'll be like, give me your water and you have to give it away and then my school was on top of a mountain and if the tap is not working you have to go down this hill it's a long valley to get water and by the way that's how I got my form people are like oh you have muscles where did you get that from carrying water <laughs> and uh, yeah, so waking up at 5 a.m. making sure your bed is clean for inspection, your body is clean, your uniform is clean, everything is prepared before you go to class. Because there are inspections when you go to class and if your items are not arranged properly, you get called and you get punished. And if you get punished, it reflects on your house because uh, marks are deducted from your house and then nobody likes that like so yeah but well, one of my favorite things was going home after school I was over because it was like oh I can sleep but then when I get home like two weeks after I have gotten home then I miss school so terribly and I think I love it when school started that first day when you meet your friends and everybody's coming with your stories and I was like really cool um yeah so what did i learn from going to boarding school in ghana i i stopped at form two i i transferred here to finish high school in new york city uh, because like i said i didn't think i could make it to university uh, but it taught me like how to stand up for myself among my peers how to make friends how to work with my colleagues how to understand like how to work in the community how to stand up for the things that mean something to me how to fight for those things how to survive you really have to learn how to survive and work with other people um and if i had children would i let them go through the system heck yeah i think it's i think it helps with self-knowledge and self-discipline um and uh yeah and i think it's like it, it has like some indispensable indispensable qualities to it so i definitely would recommend it um yeah so what about you do you have any stories about boarding school do you know anybody who went to boarding school did you go to boarding school uh, what are your theories about those spaces please let me know in the comment section look in the description box for complimentary materials and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye